Hey everybody. So, I mean, for a couple of years now, I've been thinking about this little philosophical slash metaphysical dilemma. Um, and it goes something like this. You know, you're sitting here. Let's say I make a perfect copy of you. Molecule for molecule, atom for atom, exactly you, right? And then you're sitting across from your copy. Obviously, your copy, as far as a materialist, like I... I, I'm a materialist just because I haven't seen evidence for anything else, but I would expect that copy to be basically an identical copy of myself with its own consciousness, but in that moment its consciousness would exactly be in the state that mine is. So we're pretty much identical, but we all, we both have our unique consciousness and we're looking out of our own set of eyes at the world. Um, and I guess that's, you know, that's, that's okay, that's materialistically, that, that makes sense. Um, but my question is, what if you then, what if you took a human being and you anesthetized them or you, you, you froze them somehow for, say, a million years, um, and then you unfroze them again, right? For that million years, functionally, they would be dead. Let's say you put them into complete stasis, nothing would move they would essentially be completely dead. They would have no brain function, they would not have no anything going on. Then you wake them up after a thousand years. Um, is that then, and again, in a sense, that would be then still you, right? That would be um, you, you've just kind of been out of existence for a thousand years and now you're back. But what's the difference really between between the two, you know, consciousness is the only thing that makes my consciousness my consciousness is that it's moment by moment continues in my brain, in which case that gap where there was no consciousness, does that mean that somehow I've disappeared? I, I guess not, but considering that materi the material of m myself and my clone are the exact same thing. Um, how come we don't share the same consciousness if at the same time we can actually eradicate this consciousness by freezing it and then get it back by thawing up this person? And I don't know if, if, if you get the sense of the dilemma I have with the idea or, you know, uh, maybe it doesn't seem like there's anything wrong with how that would work to you. Um, but to me it is, just because of how I experience, experience consciousness and what it would mean to me to be have someone who is me but is a different person and looking out of the same set of eyes but through their unique consciousness and how that works with actually being able to take away consciousness and then basically give it back but what what is it that would make that person still the same person? And if we had a copy, then if the material is the same and they're both asleep and you wake them both up, how could you tell which is which? How, how, would, that, how would that work, given that they have the same memories? Um, obviously, they couldn't tell themselves apart, of course. I mean, but, but philosophically, what, what does it mean? What, how, how are these two beings... Um, not the same, even though they are the same. And how can you, like, how how is it different from interrupting that person for a thousand years by just shutting them down and then basically thawing them back up again? How is that different from killing that person and making a copy of them that's exactly identical? Because the material is the same as a materialist. So what's the difference? And I mean, there must be one because surely they have their own unique consciousness. On the other hand, I guess you could just see consciousness as an illusion to start with. That we as human, we think we're conscious, and we think we're perceiving the world. But well, actually, so maybe consciousness isn't the illusion. But I guess, like Buddhists say, the self is. So there was never really a perceiving self, and consciousness was just something that arose once things got complex enough, and there was nothing unique about that self that actually that actually lent anything to that um, and that's 
I don't know if I'm getting it across right. I don't know. Maybe you're a materialist. If if you're a dualist, I guess you could say souls are different or something, and that solves the problem. But if you're a materialist like me, um, maybe you think that's how it's supposed to work, but it confuses the hell out of me. And I mean, I, I guess my words kind of fail at putting the, the problem succinctly. Um, but it just confuses me <laughs> severely. So I'd love to know what you guys think. Let me know. All right. See you all later. Hope you're having a great weekend. And I'll get to some more of the questions in the question video maybe tonight.